Hey, want to see a magic trick? A hawk who skates? Hey kid, can you do an ollie? Uh, you know, let's say, yeah, I can't do a uh, what? All right, okay. Sure, first thing you gotta learn is basic movement. All right, well. Cool. Okay. Oh, that's a heck of a jump. And I should be able to... Hmm. Oh, wait, that's my left, not my right. Okay, so what's a revert? Ah, oh, I see, it spins you around. Tony, come talk to me. I can tell you about tricks. Why don't you give these tricks a shot? Key to not wiping out is to complete the trick before you land. Okay, so just ahead of time, I don't play a lot of these games. I'm not a, a big skateboard game kind of person. So this could be excellent controls. This could be terrible controls. I can't give you that meaningful context. But what you are going to get to see is a lot of attempts of me virtually eating dirt. So... Okay, not so bad. Uh... There... <laughs> Backflip, and that makes us a kickflip. Hey, nice. Cool. And you can grind on rails and benches by doing this. Ah! Splat. Ah! Okay, that's not great. Alright, so... Fantastic. One last check -in. Tony, 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 please. All right, so the camera's not great. All right, unlock my full potential. Oh, that's cute. Stickers on stickers on the um, skateboard as, as progress indicators. Oh, look at this cool alligator lady. Okay, so it's a fast travel system. Grind rails. So you can checkpoint, and then you can teleport to it. Okay, cool. Well, there's a grinder right there. Ah! I think that's enough. <laughs> so you can just infinitely teleport with no cooldown. Can you really mash it, I guess? Oh, oh boy, you can. Alright, so this is probably not going to be a game with points-based collection. <laughs> the side screen just keeps showing different rail grinds. Okay. All of my magical secrets. What kind of secrets? 45 years old. Yeah, that's super far off. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I apologize, game. <laughs> I, I may have done things. Ooh. Oh, there's, there's things to collect. Oh, okay. So... 
I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh, hello. Oh, he's Tony the Hawk. Yeah, okay. Stoked to learn from Tony the Hawk before I head to the park. He always asks you to do an ollie. Alright, so, what are we doing here? I thought on my blog for Tricks Month I was going to do a couple of games that were about, you know, tricks, deceit, and conspiracy. And I went looking for a bunch of different games, and it turns out that when it comes to magic, it's so common in games, it's very hard to find games where you, like, actually do what would be considered magical kind of uh, performances. No, no ingenue kind of... Ingenue. No engineering kind of work, just, you know, well, it's magic. Uh, and then I went looking for trick-taking games, and the problem is a whole bunch of those that I want to talk about, like the crew, are, uh, they're, they're based around, you know, people. And we're under a lockdown right now as I record this, so that sucks. So what I thought I'd do is rather than go to the Steam store page and try and find something new, is I'd look into my collection over on itch.io and see, you know, in all the bundles and different weird stuff I picked up over the years, is there anything there that might fit what I was after? And, you know, there is. And it's this charming little skateboard em up about a wizard uh, called, well, Magic Trick. And like, yeah, as far as games go, I am sure this is a game where they started with the title before they went on to the actual game itself, because the actual idea is just so effortlessly cute. I don't know if it's any good, and I'm very confident that I'm not very good at it, uh, but this is a really lovely little game, and you can get it on Steam, and you can get it on Itch if you want to check it out for yourself. But for now, all I'm going to do is play this game for a little bit, and you can have a look and see what you think, and I will try to make the experience a little chill and a little nice because, I don't know, I feel like I need that right now. Maybe you need that. I don't know. I'm not charging you. On top of a table. Stop me. Uh, this is, this is in fact how every short person reacts when they gain a tiny bit of height. It's true, standing on a table does make you big and cool. What about you people? What are you? Ugh. Well, it is indeed a seesaw. Ooh, monkey bars. Love to be a monkey. Well, Wizkid, if you're a human, you are kind of a monkey. Inasmuch as a monkey is a thing, you are one. Oh, hello. The the camera is a little loose. My bros won't know what hit him once they send this bad boy. The nuts are you talking about? Whoa! Oh, I see. When it comes to skateboard games, there's always a certain beauty in watching it being played well, but I've never seen... <laughs> I've never seen games talk extensively about what it's like to be bad at them. Just think about that time I got stuck in a dryer, you know how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I feel you, Lint. This game appears to be mostly based around collection. Like, I don't imagine there's going to be a particularly complicated plot. Uh, I don't imagine I'm going to get to see anything particularly intricate. This is a game that's all about giving you a little space to play around in. And that's for the that's the fun of the whole experience. And I, I, I can dig that. Alright, track. Wait, wait, wait. You're on the right track, don't trip. Okay. Whoa! Uh, whoops, didn't, didn't mean to do that. Let's, let's, let's head back this way. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I have little rainbows on my wheels. That's cool. Hey, you. Man. I will say... I'm not good at remembering the break. 
meow. Some say the power of friendships on the island sustained the bridges. Well, you know, a small pigeon told me, so I have no reason to believe that's anything but completely true. Hey. It's Delia. How you doing, Delia? Jelly Bean Park. Speed boosting off a card ramp. Alright, let's go. Okay, so... On my controller, that's a well, that's a half circle left and a half circle right. So, and you go. I'm gonna need to. Oop. Made it the wrong way around. Nets. I don't know what a tada is, but I imagine it's not typically part of these things. Ooh, spectacular speed. I do need to get that ramp back. I don't know how I broke it. My daughter is stuck in a tree? Hi, Bucky! <laughs> Yeah, let's 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 rescue a kid through the power of skateboarding. Whatever it is I'm trying to do, it ain't working. I see. I see. Okay. So if I get going straight. Okay. Okay, that was pretty neat. Not not a wise course of action by any stretch of the imagination, but I did I did do a sick combo of flinging myself into the eternal yawning void around all that we know. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. I'm sure someone good at this game will be able to do that for something neat. Hey, does that unlock the bridge? I gotta boost off a ramp I just did. Didn't I? Boo. Okay. wrong here? Surely that was spectacular speed. I, I think this teleport system is really good for like experimenting. This is really cool. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong with.
Hmm. Okay, okay. So I have a nice straight path that I can try and try again on. Okay, that's good. Spectacular speed. Do I not have enough? Or is it? Do I need to collect more cards? Whoa! <laughs> Is it that I don't- is that I need more magical cards to do the trick? Oh, that seems unwise. Let's- let's not do that. What did I just say, McWiz Kid? Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, don't set your teleport checkpoint into the middle of the void. That seems bad. Can't just brute force your way up that, I guess. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game is very, very charming for something so I like. It's not. It's not like I. I, I hesitate to say anything that calls it like this game is bad because, like, what would I know about a good skateboarding game? But it is. It feels shaky in the way that a lot of good, uh, heart made, heartfelt kind of games do, where they, like, there's something they care about getting right in this game that's much more important than things that, like, you know, perfect collision. Yeah. Club Pigeon. Uh, I hope they don't know, I hope the, the pigeons aren't upset that that game got shut down. I gotta get in the habit of uh, learning I can reverse with that. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at this. Okay. I have no idea why that why that card worked and other ones didn't. Is my input really dirty? Do I just not Seems unwise. I feel like I've done it. No, haven't haven't tro total spectacular speed. Okay, let's let's just focus on trying to get spectacular speed to fire. Oh, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> okay, so you've actually got to like do the thing the button does. So like it's A B Y. <laughs> And at this point now I'm learning stuff about the inputs as an attempt to F around and find out has got me. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, let's 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 get to a nice straight spot and try and work this out. So just going to turn around. There we go. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> ah. Okay, that took some that took some understanding because the interface didn't teach me that very well. Uh, it's not it's not like uh, video game combos. It's actually where you need to do the inputs and let the move they trigger resolve. So you need to be, you know, thinking of these in terms of movement. That's cool. All right, well. 
Okay, this doesn't look super difficult compared to what I was doing, but... Uh... That, that, seems un that seems unfavorable to my health and well-being. Alright, let's, let's try this now. Oh, okay, so it automatically grinds you up over there. Okay, okay. Fine. And he yeets me over the side, into space. <laughs> what a lovely, lovely game that I do not feel comfortable trying to be good at. This is interesting too, because like my association with skateboards growing up was always that it was a thing that dangerous people did, that it was always very threatening and scary. But, you know, it's, it's really like, you don't get to see a lot of skateboarding stuff that says, hey, you know, check out, uh, check out this, <laughs> oh no, uh, check out this thing where, you know, cute kids are doing it in a fun park. Like, the only reason that skateboarding has this negative connotation in my head is because of the way people treated skateboarders. It's not like it's a sport that's inherently somehow less, you know, safe or respectable than football. And that involves crashing into people on a semi-regular basis. This game is a little small, but not in a way that I would, uh... Like... If this, if this game costs 70 bucks, I can imagine someone being mildly affronted, but this is a you know, cute little cheap game on, on itch about playing a cute little wizard fluting around on a skateboard. This is cool! And you get manga action lines when you go real fast. Zoom! Straight into the post. Let's try it. Whoa! Not the wisest course of action on my part. On the other hand, this is now like a... Okay, let's... Let's, uh... Let's not try and get cute. He says, and then immediately does it again. Nope. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in those bundles I got on itch that deserves attention and it deserves it deserves to just get in the habit and the process of just pulling open stuff from itch and using them. There's this idea in media studies of the medium being the message. And right now we're in a position where game platforms like Steam and Epic are kind of thinking of themselves and behaving as if capturing an audience of consumers and making the interface for engaging with that market is itself fundamentally the same thing as games itself. That it's not enough to be a, a games producer, you have to be a games producer on Steam and the, the value of your work is directly related to how Steam sees your game. And, like, that's not the way it has to be. And there are so many producers on other platforms, and especially Itch. Like, I'm not saying, like, Itch is perfect because it's the platform I like and the platforms I don't like are bad. It's just, this is another place, and by giving people creative freedom and a lot of flexibility to work with, uh, they don't have the same capture on people's minds that Steam does. And that's interesting. It's interesting because I don't think well of Steam as a program. My main thoughts about Steam is that, like, you know, this thing breaks and fails a lot, and I'm annoyed by it, but, you know, oh, it needs to restart again. Oh, it's, it's, it's got me set onto public. Oh, and yeah. You know, all that thing, all those stuff that Steam does. And Steam is not necessary for games. Steam is just a tool that is designed to make it so that games I have paid for will work. And they basically designed it to limit my access to the stuff I bought. That's part of the trade-off they offer. That's the marketplace, uh, ostensibly. In the same way that money is only there to make sure you know what you can't have. 
this is a really cute little game and I think that it's definitely worth your time to go check it out. And given the way that itch works out on profits, if this interests you, I reckon you should go check it out over on itch and not on Steam. Whee!